Hi, I'm Joe, and today's beginner guitar lessons, we're going to learn some basic chords. The basic, basic, basic beginner chords, and most people start learning to play in either G or C. So let's start with a G chord. Okay, we can learn uh, some basic chords here, and I'll show you how this is done. All right, as you can see on the fretboard, what you want to do, you're going to take your middle finger, and you have your third fret on that low E string. You put that right there. Your index finger goes on the next string on the second fret. And your ring finger all the way down here on the third fret of the high E string. You push them down nice and good, right like that, and you have a G chord. So that's fairly easy. If you want to play in the key of G, you mostly need three chords. That's G, C, let's go over C. If you have a chord book, it'll probably show you these, but we'll go over these right here. Take your index finger, you want to go to your second string, the B string, and go to the first fret, right here. Take your middle finger, go to your D string on the second fret, your ring finger right there on the next string down, your A string on the third fret, and you push them down nice. Now you want to not play that low E, just the other strings are, even if you do, it doesn't sound that bad, but there is your C chord. And then you have D. D is the other chord, your primary major chord you're going to need for playing in the key of G. So, once again, index finger. Well, let's start with the high E string, middle finger on the high E string, right there. Your ring finger on the B string, third fret, and then your index finger goes down to the G string on that second fret. So right like that, and try to play just the top four strings. So that's your D chord, G, C, D. And what you can do with G, C, D is, well, a lot. There's G, D, G, C, G, D, G. That sounds like a song. That sounds like a song, and that's with three chords. You've heard uh, people talk about country music, three chords and the truth. Well, there you go. That's three chords. So now that you have your three chords, there's a lot you can do with it. You can start out with, you know, uh, your basic... Um, track. Uh, you can play Amazing Grace with those three chords, G, C, and D. So you can play a lot of other songs too, and if you get a little bit better at it and you practice it, you know, you have your... That's all G, C, D. And you'll find there are a lot of wonderful folk and country and gospel songs that you can play in G, C, D. Sorry about my less than great rendition of Amazing Grace there. I'm a little dry and I'm trying to sing. I, th I think that was, that was pretty out of key. That was pretty bad. I should maybe stick to teaching the guitar instead of singing. But uh, you, all you need is G, C, and D to get started. And uh, yeah, you can play songs with that. Yeah, lots of people have written songs with 
just the three major chords in a key. Now that's in the key of G. Don't let that intimidate you, the idea of, of keys. It's not too hard to learn, and I'm sure from your chord book you'll learn <clears throat> you'll learn plenty of that but it's the same kind of concept for instance you know g c d if you learn c it's c f g but it's the same same kind of concept same three chord kind of thing and i'm sure that if you, if you have any kind of uh, book you'll it'll tell you tell you about any kind of chord and scale book but uh we'll get into a little bit more of that later and in the next video uh, we'll try to cover some minor chords and basic musical structure that you can use to write songs or uh, even play songs. The basic ones you're going to need in the key of G. We're starting out in G mostly because just a lot of music is written in G and there's a lot of music in G. So that's uh, one of the keys people tend to start out in. All right. So we'll take a look at that next time. Please, hey, like, subscribe, and, and keep an eye out for more videos. We'll do more of this. God bless you, and see you next time.